Mandy J here with the Funko Minis Mystery Boxes. And again, I have Mr. Transformer 96 here. Yeah, so I'm quite excited to see the Mystery Minis for this assortment. I do enjoy Mystery Minis, and it's nice to see that they're doing an incredible series. I really do like this little mini assortment. I enjoy all of the poses so far, and I feel like it's a great assortment of characters. And I feel like there's not going to be like a chance to get like 5 billion Jack Jacks. Yeah, which is uh, nice. They didn't like go overboard with the Jack Jacks here. Um, there is a, C a regular assortment, which you can see here. There's also an exclusive one. I believe it's exclusive to Target. I'll be able to check that in a second, and we will go over those exclusives. Um, but it's, it's kind of odd for Mystery Mini to do just one set of exclusives. Usually what they do is they do a regular line, and then three sets of exclusives. This one, of course, does not have that. Um, it might just be due to the fact that they have a limited supply of characters, but I think with all the variations of Jack-Jack, and on the poster, it does seem like there's a bunch of different, like, smaller superheroes in this movie, so I feel like they could have, uh, they could have, uh, you know, came up with six more figures if they needed to, but in this regular assortment, you do have a nice array of characters, all of which are in cool, unique poses that are different from the pops, which is quite nice, you know, they didn't really go with any of the same um, poses, except when it comes to screen slaver. So that leads me to think that possibly just the concept art for screen slaver that um, Funko got was just like the same image of him. They didn't maybe show much, and therefore they designed the pops in the same way. But the regular assortment consists of the regular family, uh, two villains, Frozone, a smaller, you know, kind of mystery new hero, and then a extra Jack Jack as well as Edna. And I really do like the fact that we have some really nice, interesting poses. I mean, the only one I would say is like Jack-Jack, but you can't really do too much with Jack-Jack. And I really like the fact that the one thing that caught my eye was the fact that Violet's like half invisible. And I really like that. And then on top of that, I really do enjoy the kind of... Um, well, I mean, you can say Frozone is kind of in a similar stance as the Pop. The only difference is he doesn't have the ice shooting from his hand. Yeah, I agree, but, you know, Frozone and Jack-Jack and the regular Elastigirl are very similar to their uh, their respective pops. The regular Elastigirl is, is similar to her new costume one in pop version, but uh, as a whole, I do like the design of these. I think mean, they have a fun, unique design, and I do enjoy their kind of action-styled stances, especially dash running and things like that. Uh, but you do have a nice array of characters in this regular assortment. For me personally, I would like to get the, the regular family. It would be fun to get to pose them with the regular pops. Um, but then personally, I would like uh, the Underminer and Screen Slaver to, uh, to go uh, with those respective pops as well. Especially since the Underminer has such a different pose from his pop, which I do uh, prefer quite a bit. And then Edna so far does not have a pop. I'm sure she'll get one eventually, but uh, she doesn't have one at the moment. So it's nice to see that Mystery Mini is providing us an Edna figure. Though, I do have to say, I think the Jack-Jack on fire has the same pose as his pop, because it does look like he's holding up his diaper. Just yeah. a little bit. It's kind of hard because he's so small and there's not a whole lot of detail, but it kind of looks as though maybe he has the same stance. Yeah, he does, and he's got that same little smirk. Um, what's nice is with the regular Jack-Jack is that he has a real big funny you know ex expression with a big old smile which is something that the pop doesn't have so i do appreciate that and i think that it actually looks a bit better than the pop uh just based on its style and the fact that they can actually sculpt mouths so uh going over the exclusive assortment as you can see you do uh had trade out a few of the characters such as the underminer um in order to get the exclusive one the underminer the fire jack jack and then there's one more um Oh, it's that new hero. Those three are taken out for the three new exclusives, which is, of course, the monster Jack-Jack, the raccoon, who Jack-Jack seems to be getting into a bit of a fight with in this new movie, and then another one of those new heroes that does seem to barf lava or something like that. So that's kind of interesting. Doesn't that hero, the, like how you, how you elegantly put barfs lava, doesn't he kind of look like a monkey in the face? He does. It's very strange the way that his lips are kind of like uh, uh, pursed like that. It, it's it's very odd. So I'm not too into that. I think that if you want that one, though, it should be pretty easy to find because uh, these are all one out of 12. So none of them are rarer than the other. Um, I believe that these are exclusive to Target. So if you're at Target and you have the exclusive set and you want that one, really just look for uh, weight. I mean, and, and especially how much it moves in the box, because I think him, the Monster Jack Jack and Frozone are the only ones that will kind of shake a bit more or shake less and be a little heavier. And I do think that uh, Mr. Like weight wise, I think Mr. Incredible can be thrown in there. I feel like he's going to be pretty heavy. That's true. Um, I think that he's going to shake a bit less though, at least. So it might have a. You might have to like look at the weight and how much it shakes, and probably Frozone in that new lava barf guy uh, will. <laughs> <be> <laughs> Official. Official new name, Larva Boff Guy. 
Exactly. Overall, I'm uh, I'm enjoying this assortment though. I think it looks quite nice. I don't quite know how many. Of, do you want any of these, or do you have plans to purchase a few of these, or what? What would you like to get? We're sharing a mic, so if for some reason you couldn't hear him, it's because I keep pulling the mic over and he keeps like jumping in. And it's like back and forth, back and forth. Um, but no, I'm actually one. I'm surprised we don't have the um lead version of Jack Jack in this assortment because it seems like we have him, we have him in a keychain we have him as a pop and if we were to have another box that's an exclusive box it would be a hot topic one because it's a hot topic exclusive popping keychain wise so it makes no sense that we aren't getting that as a hot topic exclusive um like kind of how you said earlier but I think if I were to pick up any I would want the fiery Jack Jack I would definitely want Violet. I think I would like Elastigirl in both her new suit and current suit. Um, There's just too many that I kind of like really enjoy. So I don't think I would ever be disappointed in what I get. Yeah, that that one new hero, this one here, she's the only one that I think I'd be disappointed with. I don't really care for that one. But the others I think are all fun and, and would be fun and nice to have. I do think maybe we like we might change our minds about that though because I feel the same way I feel like the new heroes I like I think it's because we don't know who they are and we don't have like a connection or like anything like that to them but I'm sure once we get to know about them maybe we might change our minds but for now the new heroes we'd be more than happy to skip yeah I totally agree I think that just just from how they're posed on the poster i really don't think that you're gonna have much of a role though because uh they're so tiny like i had to blow that poster up to even kind of see them and realize that that was the the character that's the mystery mini so i i don't think they're gonna have a big role but who knows they could be very fun i'm sure they'll at least have unique and fun powers yeah and i'm sure that like you know maybe like the like i can't really tell too much about the design wise like i feel like there's a lot going on with both villains and so or here (laughs) haha heroes Thank you. Um, just because, I don't know, like, something about it, like, the neon kind of turquoise kind of puts me off. Because this, this whole assortment feels either very warm, or you have Frozone, who's, of course, like, blue, but it seems like a warmer blue. So, I feel like, uh, overall, it's kind of a warmer color, and then you have this intense, cool hero that just kind of throws you off just a little bit, so... Maybe that's why, like, that one kind of sticks out a little bit more, and I'm like, eh. But other than that, I mean, I think this is a really great assortment. I think it has a really great feel to it, and I think this is a fun one for anyone to collect. Yeah, I'm quite excited for them. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know where to leave them. And thanks so much for watching.